everything that we do starts with an idea. We don't know what to do unless we have an idea. So ideas are like fish and you don't make the fish, you catch the fish. You desiring an idea is like putting a bait on a hook and lowering it into the water. You can catch ideas from daydreaming or you can catch ideas from places. If you think that maybe a place could conjure ideas, then you have to go out of the house and go traveling. You can be going down the street, see a reflection on a little a pool in the gutter, and bang, an idea will come. Who knows how it happens? I always say it's like there's a man in another room with the whole film together, but they're in, they're in puzzle parts and he's flipping one piece at a time into me. And at first it's very abstract, I don't know, I have a clue. More pieces come, more ideas are caught, it starts forming a thing, and then one day there it is. So it, there is in another, in a way, there's no original ideas, it's just the ideas that you caught. The, the thing is to be true to the idea. A lot of artists think that suffering is necessary, but in reality, any kind of suffering cramps the flow of creativity. Let's say that Van Gogh, every time he went out and painted, he got diarrhea. It wouldn't be so good for him to go out. He'd have to be <laughs> really crazy. Happiness in the doing is so important and I always say it's our life going by and uh, then you this creativity flowing ideas are easier to catch and ideas that could take you out of drudgery work and lead you to someplace you know some fantastic things trillions and zillions of ideas and they're all there bubbling and ready to be caught